Hey everybody, Josh Garrison here. And in these videos, I'm going to show you how to set your sales team up for success with Apollo. So if you're a sales manager, SDR manager, VP of sales, district manager, or a founder leading a sales team, these videos are for you. If you don't have an account, you can go to Apollo.io, create one, hit sign up for free, or buy one of our various plans. But I'm going to assume you have an account already, and we're going to go ahead and just dive into the platform. Now, Apollo is a very robust tool. There's a lot you can do from prospecting to engagement to automation to enrichment. And we're going to touch on most of those things in these videos. But I want to start in the top right hand corner at the settings wheel. What we're going to do is we're actually going to set up a framework or a structure for our team so that when they log into Apollo for the first time, everything is ready to go and there's not too much confusion for them. They can start being productive. The first thing I want to show you before I do anything else is the territories feature. When I was leading sales teams, one of the things that was always frustrating to me is I'd set them up with a tool like Apollo and we'd log in and then we'd do our prospecting. And what we would find is that we had done duplicate work. Some of us had prospected the same people and that was a waste of time and we couldn't really figure it out until we went to add them to a sequence or something like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create some territories or some guardrails for our team so that when they log in for the very first time, they can immediately start prospecting and don't have to worry about stepping on each other's toes. Now, if you don't have a big team, if everybody's kind of going from the same pool, maybe you don't need to do this. But even if you have just three or four reps, I would still set this up so that everybody has their own swim lane. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit new territory to show you guys what this looks like. And I'll just say SDR1, I'm going to assign this to uh, my colleague Vance Maximus, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is hit add filters. So territories, a little bit of a misnomer. Yes, we can set location-based criteria for a territory, but we could also set any other criteria from Apollo's targeting over 65 filters for a territory. So for example, let's say I sell to two personas. Maybe one of the personas I sell to is VPs of sales, and the other persona I sell to is VP of marketing. I can set up a VP of sales territory. So maybe one person on my team only gets to focus on VPs of sales. And the other person on my team is going to focus on VP of marketing, right? So what I just did was I created what's called a persona, which we can talk about a little bit later. And now I'm going to say, okay, anybody with the title VP of sales, I'm going to save that. And those are the people who are in this territory. So I sign that and now only Vance can prospect the people in that territory, right? I can create another territory. You can change this one. Let's call this SDR2. And I can set this up to be my VP of marketing if I wanted to do that. Whatever you want to do, however your territories are broken down in your sales plan, you can recreate that here in Apollo. I know a lot of people have it set up by state. So you can have multiple states set up. Maybe it's the Midwest or the Northeast or the South, whatever. So that would be the first thing I do as a sales manager is I'd come in here and I'd set up my territories and I would assign my territories to my team. So let's talk about that. So I added Vance to SDR1, that territory. Now what I'm going to do is come back into settings and I'm going to go to users. So this is where I'm going to manage who has access to Apollo. I can just come up here and I hit new user. So when I click this button, I get to put in their name, their title, their email, and then I have to manage their permission profile. So I'm just going to click on that out of the box. Apollo has some permission profiles for you, but I would strongly recommend that you come in and create some profiles for your team. This just allows you to control who gets to do what. So I'll go ahead and create a new profile. We'll call this SDR. And you'll see that this gives me a whole lot of things to choose from. Do I want them to be able to add and edit users? Do I want them to invite people to join, to manage billing, to manage profiles? Tons of little administrative settings over here on the left. On the right hand side, we're going to be able to control their ability or their permissions rather with sequences and with emails again, with territories opportunities. So I would recommend you create at least two profiles to start. You want to have sort of your end user profile. You want to have your administrator profile. And then depending on the size of your team, maybe you want something in the middle for your sales managers. One thing that I will call out is that if you want to put a restriction on, on your team, so let's say we set up a territory, right? And you can only prospect in your territory. We could set it up such that you can also only send emails to contacts that are owned by that user. And so 
what we'll get to in a little bit is we could set up an integration with our CRM and we'll be piping in the account ownership or the contact ownership. So you really don't have people quote unquote stealing accounts. That was a big thing when I was a sales rep. I was like, oh, that's my account. Why are you emailing them? You can get ahead of a lot of that with just a couple settings over here. For your manager profiles, a couple things I'll call out, can send emails from, I would have this set other users or all users for your managers in case you need to initiate a sequence or reply into a, a thread or something on behalf of a user if they're on vacation or PTO or out on leave or whatever the case may be. A couple other things that we could talk through here is conversations. This is essentially Apollo's version of something like a gong where we're recording the conversations, providing intelligence on that. If you have different teams, especially if you have non-sales teams, but customer success or support teams, and you don't want everyone to be able to access every type of call, you could edit those permissions in the conversation setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And then what you can do is if you had multiple users here, you could apply the permission profiles to those users. I can come in here and say, all right, Vance, I'm gonna assign a user to you, or a, prof a profile to you, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that you can only be, I don't know, you, let's say you're an SDR, you only have access to what I just showed you. So this is where you would change permissions. One thing I would call out is that if somebody does leave your company, it's really important that you come into Apollo and you deactivate them. You don't wanna just reassign the same seat to someone else. There's only one type of seat in Apollo. We don't charge differently for like admin or end user or something like that. If somebody leaves the company, deactivate their account, that will prevent them from getting access to your Apollo account. You can also see if you have any users you've invited who haven't accepted their invite. So when you set your team up for the first time, this is something to keep an eye on. So at this point, we've gone through users, we've gone through permission profiles, and we've talked a little bit about territories. The other things that I would call out here is going to be the manage plan. So this is where you can see your plan settings and your usage of your plan. So most of your plans are going to have a limit on email credits and a limit on mobile credits. You may also have a limit to the minutes available in our conversations tool and in our dialer. You can come in here and this is where you can see as well as our AI generated word usage, all of which we can talk about in future videos. You can come in here, this is where you can see your usage. You can see how many credits each of your team members are using. You can see their historical usage. So lots of great data available to you here. You can also change your billing information and settings for your licenses in terms of who you allow to join your instance or whether or not you wanna get notifications when new seats are added. Coming in here on a regular basis to check your credit usage would be useful. The other thing that I would show you is that from the users tab, I can go and click on each individual user and I can actually create a limit for them on the number of credits that they have. So I can set each user up to only have a thousand email credits on a monthly basis or 500 mobile credits or hundred mobile credits, whatever those numbers are, however you wanna allocate the credits you have for your team, you should come in here and allocate them for each of the users on your team as well. The last thing I'll show you on this side over here is the Teams setting. This is an easy way to bucket your users so that you can find their performance later. So what I mean by that is we could come into the Apollo platform and we could run some analytics in the analytics tab. If I wanted to see how my North America team was doing or my West Coast team was doing versus my East Coast team and do that very quickly, I would use the Teams feature in Apollo. This doesn't have anything to do with permissions or profiles or anything like that. It's just a way of grouping your users up. So you can create a team over here. You can say West Coast, and then I can assign team members to that team. Something to keep in mind if you do use a lot of the analytics within the platform. Okay, so that more or less covers the initial setup of Apollo. One thing I didn't call out that I will call out is if you haven't yet, go ahead and head to knowledge.apollo.io and bookmark this page. This is our knowledge base where everything Apollo related is documented, how the platform works. Any question you have, you can just come in here, you can type it, what are credits, for example, and here's some documentation around how the Apollo platform works. So as you're setting things up for your team, I would encourage you to come here first 
And then if you're not able to get an answer, you can contact your rep or you can come into Apollo, hit this button in the bottom right-hand corner and get help that way. 